Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be attacking Jimmy's four maxed out boom cannons versus every troop in the game. So when I say every troop, I mean every regular troop. Obviously I don't have access to all of the different proto troops, but we're gonna be trying out all of the regular troops. And I've been thinking, how can I make this fair? Because if I drop all eight boats, I'm gonna wreck the doom cannons every single time. There's no troop that would possibly lose to that. So I'm thinking, Let's drop three boats of troops, and I think that would be the perfect number for four Doom Cannons to defend for some troops, but not defend for others. And that's kind of the whole point. It's kind of just this massive experiment. So that's what we're gonna do. Here are the four maxed out Doom Cannons. Now, Doom Cannons do deal splash damage, so that's one thing to look out for um, as my troops are hitting this base and honestly i think we'll probably lose this first battle just because riflemen one they don't deal a lot of damage and two they kind of clump up so the doom cannons will actually take down multiple pretty good so far actually i think we'll end up pulling out a win here just barely what did i say three boats just barely able to take down the doom cannons okay we have eight 9, 10, 11 troops left. There's 26 in each boat. That's about 20-ish percent of our troops left. So pretty good for us. Okay, now we'll load up the next troop, which is heavies. I'm not expecting heavies to do well at all. Their damage is pretty much non-existent. And on top of the Doom Cannons, we also have Jimmy's Damage Boost statue. So uh, there's that, which is also going to hurt these troops. But... Uh, actually, what am I talking about? It won't hurt these troops. It will hurt the big troops later on, like the mechs on Scorcher and stuff. Okay, obviously the heavies are not going to do anything. And I'm curious, even if I trained up all heavies, if they would do anything. I'm pretty sure heavies and cryoneers and medics, I guess, those are all placing dead last. Actually, the medics would technically place dead last because they would deal no damage. We'll have to see how the the cryoneers do but i'm not expecting them to beat the heavies i'm actually unsure about the zookas they do clump up we don't have as many but they deal more damage so i'm i honestly have no clue if we'll pull out a win i don't think so we only have six left yeah i, I mean the splash damage from the doom cannons is just so freaking strong we're not able to take down the zookas okay how about, what's the next one? Warriors, probably? How about Warriors? I'm not sure about Warriors. I think Warriors will probably take down all the Doom Cannons. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. Just because, one, they'll kind of, like, heal. No, never mind. Okay. They don't, they heal themselves, but I keep forgetting Doom Cannons. Okay. This isn't quite going per planned. You know, I was expecting more troops to make more of a dent. I think... We're pretty much past the point of these like weaker troops now. We'll start getting more stronger troops, but I think we might have to switch to four boats. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. I'll come back and I'll do these first couple troops again to make it fair, but I think four boats is kind of the way to go. One for each Doom Cannon. Okay, I was honestly expecting the tanks to maybe do a little bit better, but... What do I expect? I mean, I'm not really thinking very critically here. I mean, the tanks, there's 15 of them. No, there's 12 of them. They're not going to do anything. One Doom Cannon shot fires every, like, five seconds, probably. Yeah, they're not going to make it done. Okay, I'm not even going to try the medics, because I'm just going to sit there and not do anything, and it's just going to be a pain to do. But the medics place dead last because they don't deal damage. I have no clue how the grenadiers are going to do. Probably pretty bad, but not as bad as the Zookas. I don't think they'll be as bad as, or as good as the Zookas. I think they'll be worse than the Zookas. Yeah, I mean, Doom Cannons are the grenadiers' worst enemies. They're the biggest nightmare for grenadiers. So, yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. What's going to be interesting is the bombardiers, because four boats of bombardiers really isn't that strong. You know what? I'm 
Can I just say, I was really expecting other troops to be better. The Scorchers, I think, will win and beat all of the Doom Cannons, but I don't know. I was just expecting these troops to be a little bit better, but these are four maxed out Doom Cannons, and they deal splash damage. That, that's the biggest thing, It's their splash damage. Okay, I think the Scorchers will win, simply because we have so many of them, and they do deal damage, they deal splash damage, uh, they're walking all over the place. We have, looks like six left. We're gonna take down these two. I think we lost half of our troops that time. Definitely better than the riflemen, but I was using the riflemen with three boats. I used scorchers with four boats, so. They can't really compare that yet. But again, we're gonna come back to some of these early troops. Let's just do our riflemen now, I guess. Because I want to see, you know, I know the Rifleman won, so theoretically they should win this one as well. But I want to see if they beat the Scorchers. Scorchers lost half the army. I'm, I'm curious if we're going to lose half of the Rifleman army. So we'll see. I'm honestly so surprised at how well Rifleman are doing. It's just because there's so many of them. But yeah, the Doom Cannon Splash really isn't that big. Okay, I mean, pretty good. I would say it's about half. No, it's a little under half, I think. So, pretty pretty good. Pretty good, just like the Scorcher. Okay, now let's uh, use Heavies, though, because Heavies, I feel like, is this troop that isn't, that isn't very good, and we know it's not very good, but we'll see how it does against four max out team cannons. Again, we're adding an extra boat this time. To make it a little bit more fair for the for the guys, but I'm not seeing a success here. I'm not seeing one. But they're doing better. They are doing much better. Almost able to take down two Doom Cannons. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. It looks like we'll take down one of them. It's going to be very close. No, dang. Okay, but way better. But still pretty bad. So pretty bad. Okay, next up we'll do the Zookas. I have a loadout with Zookas here. We'll load that up. Okay, this is one I'm not sure how we'll do. Because like the Riflemen, there's a lot of them. But there's half the amount. There's half the amount. But they deal more damage. I think just quantity over the damage is what's winning out in these battles. But we'll see already took down two honestly we might win this i think 14 more zukas was the magic number yeah okay uh, zukas now zukas pulled out the win we have a little under 20 we probably have around 20 percent zukas left so worse than the riflemen worse than the scorchers but better than any of the other troops that failed Okay, now we'll use Warriors. Warriors is another one of those combinations. I'm I'm thinking they might be able to pull out a win here. Uh, I kind of messed up by dropping all of them in one spot. I did get one boat on the right-hand side. I think I did that the first attack as well. But, yeah, I mean, I'm used to Warriors hitting the core. But when they're hitting a Doom Cannon, the Doom Cannon fires in a single spot and just takes down an entire clump of warriors versus if they're sitting at the core they're a little more spread out because it's a four by four instead of a three by three building but i don't know not the greatest not the greatest we did scorchers now we have cryoneers cryoneers is a troop that i am expecting to get second i don't think they'll be as good as the warriors also that last attack by the warriors or I meant as the heavies. They're going to be a little worse than the heavies. But that last attack by the warriors was just a little bit better than the heavies. We took down a full one. We dealt more damage to the one behind. So, so far, if I did these rankings, we have the Scorchers, the Riflemen, the Zookas. And then after the Zookas, I believe we have the Warriors. And then we have... We have the group, or I think heavies beat grenadiers. Heavies, then grenadiers, then 
uh, the Cryoneers, and I forget where the tanks play. So the tanks did not do well either. Honestly, the bottom percentile, we don't really care about. We just care about the peak. What troop is the best against? Four maxed out Doom Cannons. And let me tell you, it is not the Cryoneers right now. Cryoneers, we're done with them. Now we have two more troops left. We have the Bombardiers, which I don't think will do well, and I'll talk about that in a second. And we have the Mechs. The Mechs, I think, will be pretty good, just like the Scorchers, just a little bit worse, because that's all they are. The Grenadiers, we don't have many. Doom Cannons are, our biggest, are, are a really big threat against them. I am not expecting to get a win here. I know they do a lot of damage, but still, Doom Cannons are just so freaking strong. They have, a, they have a very long range, and when you have minimal troops with no buffer in front of them, no damage tanking troop, you're gonna just lose. So there's not really much we can do. They did do better than the Warriors. They did do better than uh, what was after the Warriors. I think the only troop after the Warriors was the Zookas, and the Zookas won completely, so they didn't do as good as the Zookas. Here's the final troop. We have the Mechs. If I had to guess, I'm putting them right under the Warriors. I don't think they're gonna take down two. <laughs> I don't, I really don't, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, they're just getting slaughtered. Mechs are so bad. But hey, they're kind of shocking. <laughs> yeah, they are performing way worse than I thought as well. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. I've seen enough. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Jimmy for giving up his base, giving me this great design. I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.